Yo, what's going on, 67 underscore today? We're here doing a ranked 1v1. Um, Mulan came out today, so we're doing a first look on Mulan. Uh, put that down there so you guys can't hear it. And I'm here with Cameron, of course. Hey, what it do? The, the normal man that we play uh, first look videos with. <clears throat> So, this one, this is a little bit different, this first look, because I actually know what her abilities do. I also went to the studio while they were making her, so, <laughs> so I saw what she did before other people did. So I, I learned a little bit about it, um, but I've never played her. Dude, I don't need this. Yeah, get this, I guess. To overcome our I have no idea what she does. Perfect, this should be good then. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna get... I think getting this up is definitely your clear. This ability right here. I think getting this up is definitely the clear you need. Are my settings fucked? No, they're not. Okay. I don't think... I mean... not bad so I'll go over her abilities for those who uh, who don't know basically her passive is that whenever you do damage with your abilities as you see on the on the left there um, they slowly level up those abilities do now what that means is um, actually if we can pause can I still show yeah okay when they level up, you can see right here, uh, it's a little bit covered, but you can see right here that it, it says the skilled, which is basically just normal skill. Um, whenever you use this attack, you gain an attack speed increase, and the attack speed increase for the one is 25%. Whenever you level it up once, you gain a third attack, which is like a cone in front of you that smashes the ground that does extra damage obviously it says in a large cone in front of her that's whenever you get this whenever you've done enough damage and then uh the mastered whenever you've completely maxed uh maxed the ability not in terms of levels but in terms of how much damage you've done with the ability um you gain a permanent five percent attack speed and all of her abilities do this kind of like leveling up thing except her ultimate but her three abil abilities here do this kind of leveling up thing where um with her spear thrust her two uh it gives you i'm not sure hold on i have to unpause to read that i cannot unpause oh yeah okay oh it heals you for up to three enemies hit so it you can see the heal here i don't know if it works on minions it does not only works on uh on gods but um you get a heal whenever it's skilled or maybe it's because you do actually have to get the skill. Maybe you do have to get this damage dealt in order to get the skill. The first ability. But either way, um, it heals you. And then her second one, whenever you get the second level of her two, it... Um, actually, I can pause again because you can read this. But after you get that second level of the two, it does a second stab and does 25% extra damage, I believe. Or no, 20 extra damage. Like, it just does bonus damage right down here, and it scales uh, when you level the ability. But if you hit the same person twice, it will do bonus damage once it's at Adept. And once it's mastered, you just gain 5% base power, period. Um, grapple, you gain a protection buff at level 1. You gain the ability to dash two walls. Everybody's wanted Najah's 3 to do this forever, but they actually put it in with Mulan, so... Um, when you get that second level of your three, which by the way, as you can notice up here, uh, it's much, much easier to level up in terms of damage you have to do with it. But, um, once you do level it up to that level two, you can dash to walls and that level three, you get a 5% base movement and speed increase. And that's not the only thing her passive does. It does, it gives you all these levels to these different abilities, but that'd be kind of lame if that was her only passive because you have to use those abilities anyways. 
her actual passive, in my opinion, is every 10 seconds, the next ability you use, other than your ultimate, will get reduced by two seconds. Well, whenever you use it. It's not like every 10 seconds, it takes two seconds off. That'd just be an OP Chronos Pendant. But um, every 10 seconds, you get a buff to your next ability that reduces the cooldown by two seconds. So it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a really nice passive, actually. But yeah, so that's that. Those are the abilities for now. We'll, uh, we'll play the game. Unpause real quick, and then we'll, we'll be gamers. Low rundown. Fucking rude. Ow. Okay, also, uh, worth noting, her attack chain is 1, 1, and then 1.5, I believe, or 1.25. It's 1.25. Ah, Bummerooski, man. That was her ult, by the way. Her ult, basically, it combines all of her abilities together. Um, let me go get this item, because I think this item's super OP on her. But, um, it combines all of her abilities together. So, basically, she dashes forward using her one, like, slicing people. If she hits somebody, she then uses her two to just, like, a huge-ass smash damage in the middle. And then she uses her three and just shoots an arrow through everyone, so... But in order to proc those, you have to do the other. You have to hit the other abilities. All right. So my one is almost leveled. You can see by this bar here. Her third auto attack is AOE. Also, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. All right. So now that I have my one uh, leveled up once, you saw that thing go up. Now my one should give me. You should see down here an attack speed buff whenever I. Uh, use it whether i hit someone or not it doesn't matter but just whenever i use it period i did change her abilities to quick cast so i could learn her better by the way oh god oh god ow Okay, Jesus. <laughs> that all frags. How much did that all do? Let's see. Your alt. I don't know if it counts as. Oh yeah, it hit three times for two hundred fifty damage. Pretty good. Cause you have no items either, so like. Yeah. No. This just, just straight up damage. She feels really smooth. On she does. Day. Yeah, she does feel really smooth. Also, uh, worth noting, your abilities, when you use them, do not actually get um, any kind of movement speed reduction. So, you could just kind of frag. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but um, right here, you only gain 20% of the increase... Oh, like 20% of the damage done goes to minions. So, if you want to level it up faster, you have to hit enemy gods with it. Come here. No. Alright. Even while out of mana, her clear is still pretty good because of that AoE. You've made a mistake, Cameron. I don't doubt it. You win power boots. That item's trash. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Gonna keep leveling. You bitch. What is this? Ooh. Oh, that's the buff you get from your passive. That's what it looks like. Fuck. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll be seeing you. All right. See you later, brother. <laughs> You actually sold your boots? Oh yeah, I didn't want to make Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Alright, so I have leveled my two once, which means I will heal. Oof, okay. So as you can see, after I used my one on him there, it changed colors from blue to orange. Which basically just means, hey idiot, you've mastered, or you haven't mastered, but you've gotten to the level 2 of this ability. Which means now when I use my one, it slams down in front of me as well. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that. That's how you know when it's gotten to level 2. And when it gets to level 3, you will also notice because uh, it gets all glowy and shit. Fuck. Also, you do get your heal from, from minions, I've noticed. Once you get that level one in your uh, in your two, got him, bitch. Bop, motherfucker. All right, so I've leveled the three once, which means I get a protection buff after I hit an enemy god. I'm gonna use my one because it gives me twenty five percent attack speed on this tower. Go back. Oh my god, he got transcendence. Yeah, I'm trying something crazy. That's how I was playing her in the uh in the jungle practice when I was messing around with her abilities. I just built full fucking damage. Which I think is actually pretty good. Because it means you just like instant level all your abilities up. But in order to get that mastered level on the abilities, you really gotta be pumping some fucking numbies. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I heard your footsteps. Now. Whoa, whoa. What? That was an in shit. Like interesting interaction. No. Oh hey, this blinks now whenever you can upgrade it. That's cool. Maybe that'll actually remind me to build a second relic. For real, dude. For real. Alright. I will be your weapon. I think I might mirror you, friend. I'm going I transcendence. Same thing. <laughs> All right. Dude, I'm grinding right now. I'm gr I'm grinding up my two. Oh, you bitch. You really wanna play this game, huh? Huh? Nah, I'm good. Huh? Oh! 
You haven't leveled! I don't! <laughs> Wait, do I have a level? No, I don't have a level. Damn. You've hit me a lot more with your three than I have you, huh? I really like it. I like it. I had everything on quick cast, and then I changed it to instant, and it feels a lot better. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think now that I know the, like, range of her, I'll probably do the same real quick. Oh, thank you, game. You told me that I'm stupid. About the relic? Like, hey. Yeah, I was like, hey, you have relic shards, so get rid of it. <laughs> Damn, that healing is good, actually. What the fuck? What's up, bitch? Boom! Come here. I just leveled up my two. Alright, so this is what the level 2 ability looks like. Once it's leveled. You see that secondary stab motion. Oh, I've also leveled up my, my 3, so... I can, I can stick to walls. Alright, so that's... I mean, that's pretty much all of your abilities. I'm gonna go with this item. Um, that's pretty much all of your abilities. The only thing you get after that is, like, an extra 5% of whatever that ability does. Like, your 1 is attack speed, your 2 is power... And your three is movement speed, so. And you can just stick to walls and grapple to them like that. It's pretty great. Where are you going, bitch? I'm leaving. Oh, you bitch. I just did the same thing. Alright, so I can do extra bonus damage with my two, as you see there. I can't do any damage, as you can see there. Oh! You want the, you want the correct build. I shouldn't have done that! Oh! Oh my god, okay. It's a little tricky to know that timing for uh, in between abilities. Yeah. That's what I just realized there. Yeah, it can definitely not be easy. Oh, I actually have my one maxed out. Alright, so there you go. You can see my one is fully maxed out there, and I have this buff right here, which is a permanent attack speed increase. It's only 5%, as you can see by the mastered, but it is there. Uh, I wish that was longer range. What are my cooldowns like? Come here, you bitch. No. Come here! Okay. Oh, God. Oh! I was joking, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was joking. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh! Get him! Oh! Oh, my God. Man. Okay, I'm backing. That heal. Yeah, the heal's strong. Really I, I had glad shield, too. So, that might have been what that was about. Damn, I do a lot more damage than you, huh? Yeah. Because, like, I'm looking at the alts. You hit all three of yours on me for 356 damage, and I only hit two of mine on you for 319. I think... You were just able to get everything else leveled up so much quicker by going defense first. So you're just able to hit it more. Yeah, I was able, able to stay in the fight a little bit more. I gotcha. Still, she feels so much fun. She does. She does feel Crazy. like a lot of fun. I'm 
I'm gonna stay back here though, because I know numbers. You're 17, I'm 14. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with <laughs> You know what? It seems like you do know your numbers. Her fire minion clear seems like some ass though. Did you just ult me? <laughs> what the fuck? I did that only for the wave. I'm gonna get my healing going here. Boom, boom. I know oh. cooldowns up. No, I think this would be a pretty great item here. People say I overvalue this item though, so maybe that has some ver some merit to it. But also, it seems kind of sick. Your tower Getting five percent power is actually pretty strong. Like ten percent is twenty three. Like. Just for doing damage on your ability, you can gain like 10 to 20 power for free. Pretty up there. Damn it. You gotta learn the range on that too better. Also, you can tell um, right here my 1 and my 2, or my 1 and my other abilities. You can see how light my one is, because it's maxed out. Um, my two is going to level really soon, so you should be able to see that. The difference in that. But, I mean, obviously you don't need to know the difference. You can just look at these bars, but... And there you go. So now, now you can clearly see how it looks. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh my god. <laughs> I missed I missed the three, dude. Holy shit. Scary. Oh, I won. Yeah, I'm fire minions. I was just fighting you to fight you. I missed my ult, too, in that fight. Damn. Your build did a lot more damage than mine. You had Titan's Bane. It's a good item. Well, Cameron, thank you for the uh, for the help on the first look video. Everyone else on YouTube... Um, everyone else on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I was able to help you guys learn a little bit about the god. And, uh, make sure to share the video so all of your other idiot friends who insta lock Mulan can actually know what the fuck they're doing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, guys, peace.